No. But I have a boyfriend. I do it this way every Halloween. Are you like uh, the British American Psycho or something? And that is what makes this special. Many Canadians learned of Amanda Todd's tortured life only after the 15-year-old ended it. She posted her story for the world to see in a YouTube video detailing an ordeal of online abuse, of being blackmailed, hunted, and driven to a sense of helplessness by someone who kept turning the people in her life against her. In order to be successful, you need to become boring, dull, and unpleasant. Does this statement make any sense at all? Yes, actually. These are your hosts, Amelia and Will, and today we explore a few ways of dealing with a psycho. The Psychopaths they are among us and they have this habit of brutally attacking their rivals and stalking their victims. They are attracted to everything that shines. That it's charming and interesting, the promise of rewarding experiences. Beautiful girls are part of this category and therefore, they often become a target for such individuals. And because beautiful girls attract lots of suitors, a psycho will always find the right way to eliminate them. A basic element in Nietzsche's philosophical outlook is the will to power, which provides a basis for understanding human behavior. But you can as well fail to understand that power comes through competency and prosocial behavior when one proves that one is trustworthy and deserve it, and you may resort to anything that works. Violence, deceit and manipulation. For many psychopaths everything is on a short run, the credibility, the benefits, the relationships, they usually don't see beyond tomorrow. The smart ones think about tomorrow only to make sure that they're able to avoid the consequences of their choices. Therefore, dealing with psychos it's always a very challenging scenario and we need to carefully weigh the options. Here are a few forms of interaction with a psychopath that can prove to be successful, meaning that they could help protect us from their vicious actions. Be strong, strategy, it's been scientifically proven that psychopaths are drawn to people who show their fear and weakness. The crimes of the psychopath are not merely a function of the perpetrator. We are not all equally likely to fall prey, just as psychopaths are a special breed. So too are their victims and psychopaths choose a certain type of victim because they feel their fear in their moves and non-verbal behavior. This strategy implies a better control of emotions and projecting qualities like courage and confidence rather than fear and weakness which will almost surely activate the psychopath's infallible victim detector. No contact strategy, it may seem an exaggeration, but it's often necessary, and it may suit your personality. No contact it's a form of social death, limited in time, under the condition to be consistent, and eliminate every possibility of being contacted, seen and, essentially controlled by the freak. This often involves changing the address and phone number, and, of course, temporarily quitting social media, which nowadays has become the perfect resource for anyone who has a sick obsession and wants to control a person. For a successful no-contact strategy, the approach should be gradual, according to the level of danger. Once out of their visual field, the stalker will seek for an easier victim. Asking for humanity. In some cases, it may work to honor their power and give the psycho the opportunity to feel their domination and get drunk on their power. Therefore, their victim can ask something in return. Although risky, this approach may prove to be effective in desperate times. 
The psychopath could show you their soft side, but you need to convince them that there's a better way to prove their manhood, resourcefulness, and personal power than simply abusing you. Of course, this also means that you are able to control your fear and have some well-developed negotiation skills in order to reframe your harasser's approach. Yes, I can see that you want to be the man, but what would a real man do in this situation? The play dead strategy, play dead or gray rock method, it is supposed to transform you into a gray rock. That is a duller and bleaker version of yourself. This refers to your clothes, your makeup and your overall social image. You may want to avoid flashing your most expensive valuables, including your enticing Facebook holiday pics or your latest smart video about escaping a psycho. The Grey Rock Method requires a few performer skills and it promises a lot of independence from the psychopath. They need to feel powerful and a dull victim like you may not be the best choice. Apparent Death Colloquially known as playing dead is a behavior in which animals take on the appearance of being dead. The French biologist George Pasteur classifies it as a form of camouflage or mimicry in which the mimic imitates itself in a dead state. This form of animal deception is an adaptive behavior also known as tonic immobility or thanatosis. Apparent death can be used as a defense mechanism, and occurs in a wide range of animals. When dealing with extremely difficult people, it's commonly advised that no response is the best response to unwanted attention. This is often true in no contact. The avoidance of all communication should be the strategy of choice. However, there are situations when no contact is not feasible. For instance, Sometimes you share child custody with a psychopath, you're being stalked by an ex, or have to deal with the unwanted attention of a persistent suitor. A restraining order may rather infuriate them, and refusing to respond is perceived as an insult. Grey Rock is primarily a way of helping a psychopath, a stalker or other emotionally unbalanced person, to lose interest in their victim. It differs from no contact in that the victim doesn't openly try to avoid contact with such people. Instead, the victim allows contact but only gives unsatisfying and monotonous responses so that the predator will go elsewhere for their supply of drama. When contact with their victim is consistently boring for the psychopath, their mind is retrained to expect boredom rather than a circus. Given that psychopaths are heavily addicted to drama and they can't stand to be bored, with time, they will find themselves drawn to you less often. Eventually, they just slither away to greener pastures. Grey Rock is a way of training the psychopath to view you as an unsatisfying pursuit. You bore them and they can't stand boredom. Many victims of abuse instinctively become inert and silent in such instances. Could this be people's way of adapting to challenging situations unintentionally resorting to nature's wisdom? Here are a few effective measures for adopting the strategy of Grey Rock. No emotion. In dealing with a psychopath, displaying any type of emotion as a measure of his impact will only feed their appetite for drama. But if the toy is broken and doesn't make any sound, the psycho will lose their interest. Regular people can't even fathom the level of boredom a psycho can experience in such instances. No glow. Abandon any kind of attention-seeking behavior. Wishing the spotlight and getting the center of attention will only draw the psychopath closer. You can't become a dead animal, but you can act like one. Especially when you know that your stalker is around, watching you. Yes, this is painful if you enjoy the spotlight, but compare this to sick leave. No brilliance. It shouldn't be that hard to become boring, right? Instead of your interesting blog posts, you could start ranting about the stupidest things in the world, like for instance, your boring errands. Unfortunately for them, some people manage to be charming and entertaining even when they talk about washing the dishes and taking out the trash. Embrace your inner bitch and learn the art of sobbing. 
Learn from nature. You probably enjoy Halloween parties where people wear unusual costumes and weird makeup. You don't want to become this weird and turn your life into a never-ending Halloween. This is not your goal. Nevertheless, you may want to play a bit with your makeup brushes and try a paler shade for your foundation. Also, you may want to get some second-hand clothes. Those with lots of fluff are your best choice. These are the main elements of the Grey Rock method for approaching the psychopaths and other emotionally unbalanced and difficult individuals. They may suit your personality more or less. However, in order to avoid exposing your strategy, you may want to use a gradual and consistent approach. This method implies a subtle process of metamorphosis, not an obvious confrontation. In nature, there are many plants and creatures that show us how to survive in a world of predators. Among others, birds feign injury to protect their babies and mice play dead until the cat loses interest. The simple, humble grey rock has all the wisdom it needs to avoid being noticed, it's boring. We hope this video presentation has been a useful opportunity to improve your survival skills in challenging situations. Thank you for your time and we'll see you in the next one. Until then, don't forget to be the best version of yourself. this special.